lightweight, easy to install. There are some issue with the front fender hitting your foot when cornering a pedaling but at the end of the day it's not a big deal. Depending on the type of bike you have you may need to get creative on installing the rear fender but nothing a zip tie or two can't handle. I have a rack on my bike so I zip tied the rear of the fender to the rack. Work as designed and well, let's be honest, you can't beat the price. Needed some last minute mud protection for a gravel race and these inexpensive fenders rose to the occasion. Easy to install and had no problems at all. Very pleased. For anyone having trouble installing make sure you understand the different points of adjustment. I'd think you would be hard pressed to find a bike these don't work on assuming you ride size for your tire width. I paid just over one score. 20. Dollars for fenders made from recycled plastic. I am satisfied with the fenders only wide enough for my 700 tires but fit under my rear rack with room to spare let me emphasize I am satisfied with the fenders the fasteners are another matter, worth their white in lead and possible made from it, just get a set of bolt and nuts from the hardware store and in the spirit of the buying recycled fenders recycle the bolts that came with it, I'm assuming these are best for casual rides or commuter application. They mounted easily on my Kona Big Rove over 700 x 32 and I'm riding high and dry on a rare wet Austin day. I did take them rough over some curbs and tracks and they stayed solid. No bounce or slap and as so for bottle fenders you could say that they are easy to pop on and off I don't care too much about weight so I can comment on that. Who's concerned about weight while riding in the rain anyway?